Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 61. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. All right, so this is going to be my second attempt at recording this episode because uh, unfortunately when I first started recording this, uh, it corrupted all of my footage. Basically, it did this weird like triple speed thing and then the rest of the footage was just like non-existent. So it was basically corrupted footage. Uh, we're going to be starting off with Test Track Infield, King Cobra Reverse, moving on to Nürburgring, Maple Valley, and then Road Atlanta. Let's get going. All right, so we are here around the snake track. Ooh. I do like the sound of this engine in the Maserati. It's quite a nice engine. Not bad. So yeah, we're up to 60 episodes, I believe. I believe this is 61 today. Uh, and we've obviously got this stream, the next stream, and the stream afterwards to basically complete this game. And then once we're done with Motorsport 2... We're moving on to Motorsport 3, baby. Somewhere. Completed all motorsport games. Hey, that's awesome, Austin. Yeah, so I'm doing uh, the same thing myself now. Um, so I'm completing all of the Forza Motorsports and all of the Horizon games. Um, I'm doing my own definition of 100%, um, which I'm going to be posting another video on my YouTube explaining them all, but I'll explain them now anyways. So, for all the motorsport games, 100% is just completing all the races. Uh, and then for Horizon 2, it's the same story, just complete all the championships. Because um, motorsport, uh, Horizon 2 did a similar thing to how all the other motorsport games did it, where it was just an event list. Uh, and then Horizon 1, 3, 4, and 5 is just complete every event once. That's about it. So nothing too fancy for those games. Not bad. It's definitely going to be a long journey. Um, obviously, as of right now, we're 8.3% through the entire series. Uh, and 86% eight, through uh, Motorsport 2. So, pretty much almost done with that. Yeah, Hori Horizon 5 is a bit of a pain in the ass, though, when it comes to completing, along with Horizon 4. Because they don't really have a definition of what's finished. Which is why I've had to make my own definition of completed. Because, honestly, to define completed is extremely difficult for those games. One and three are a little easier, but they're still a bit of a pain in the backside. The only Horizon game that's actually easy to say you've done it all is uh, Horizon 2. It's the only one, really. Um, but yeah, very excited to, um, yo daddy, what's up? Welcome. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm having a good day to answer your question. <laughs> Hopefully you're having a good day as well. Um, yeah.
I have sort of a roadmap planned out for the next few years of like my Twitch and my YouTube. Which, by the way, Austin, uh, if you're wanting to watch some uh, Motorsport 2 content, do an exclamation mark YT in my chat. You'll get a YouTube link. If you uh, subscribe over on the YouTube, there's about 40 episodes of Motorsport 2 content there that you can enjoy. Um, basically, all these streams get edited and re-uploaded to YouTube in a more bite-sized amount. So... Even though you might have missed the streams, there's still uh, the content over there for you to enjoy. <laughs> and even this one that we're doing right now is going to be going up onto YouTube eventually. Oh, a little bit tail happy there. Yeah, good to hear that you're having a good day, Daddy. Uh, I've reinstalled my Windows driver San Fran working. What, so you reinstalled your entire operating system? It's definitely worthwhile reinstalling Windows sometimes. I think I'm going to end up having to reinstall Windows to get a Motorsport 3. Uh, not Motorsport 3. Why am I... Horizon 3 and Motorsport 7 working, and uh, Horizon 4 as well. Hey, awesome, Austin. Appreciate you, man. Thank you very much for that sub over on YouTube. Yeah. My uh, Windows Store is completely broken on my PC. I can't actually install anything through the Microsoft Store. So, yeah. I can't install any of the Horizons for PC, except Horizon 5. But Horizon 5 is on Steam. So, I'm also going to be buying Horizon 4 on Steam. Once it goes to, like, its extreme discount before it gets delisted. Just so that I have it there. Yeah, well, at least it's fixed your driver, San Fran. I would hate to have to reinstall Windows, because the only problem I have is um, the risk of losing all my files and stuff like that. So, But I have been smart this time, because uh, last time when I lost stuff, because um, my old laptop, when I was back on YouTube back in 2019, my old laptop died. Uh, and if you actually have a look at my Colin McRae 2 walkthrough, there's actually a video that I put up on there and I explained that my laptop just completely died and stopped working. The hard drive basically packed in. Um, and obviously my hard drive was used as a boot drive as well. So, yeah, it just completely died. Um... There's no way to get the operating system running. So, I lost everything on that drive. Um, so, I lost actually quite a substantial amount of YouTube stuff. Which meant I had to redesign a lot of stuff. But I lost... I lost about 15 episodes of that series. I basically had to redo the entire thing. Yeah. So, um... When I bought this new PC, I obviously had some backups of, like, all my stuff from my old laptop. But I was like, well, this PC is going to be used for a lot longer than what my laptop ever was. Because my old laptop I only used for about a year and a bit. So, obviously, I know this lap computer is going to be used for a long time. So, I was like, well, I really need to... About two or three months ago... I was like, I really got to invest into something, some sort of backup or something. So uh, I now back up every single one of my. Um, I back up the important stuff. So obviously, like actual gaming footage doesn't get backed up because that's constantly being cycled through. It just makes no sense to do that. And I pretty much edit all my videos fairly quickly, anyways. So. 
I'll lose two or three streams at most if my hard drive goes bang. How the hell have I managed that? Okay. There we go. Yeah, so if I lose my hard drive, it's not the end of the world. Specifically, my G drive is not that important because um, anything on my G drive um, can be quite easily replaced. It's all just like Steam installs, recorded footage, stuff like that. It's if my D drive goes, um, which is the sole reason why I bought a hard drive for my D drive, my main drive, because they last so much longer than an SSD. Um, if the D drive goes, then I lose quite a few applications and substantial amount of like OBS stuff. But again, that's nothing compared to if I lose all the important information, like my bot software and stuff like that, um, that all gets backed up. Yo, Kodo! Thank you so much for the follow. Yes, I'm playing Forza Motorsport 2. I'm actually playing through all of the Forza games, so uh, about a month and a half ago. Um, about a month and a half ago, I finished Motorsport 1. Playing through Motorsport 2. Going to try and... Uh, hopefully, I'll have this finished within the next... By mid-next week. Um, which is a shame. Because um, I've actually quite enjoyed playing Motorsport 2. A lot more than Motorsport 1. But uh, after this, we got to move on to Motorsport 3. Which will be starting probably in about a month's time. Have it at the moment on the 360. That's awesome. I think it's the on only platform it's on anyways. It's the 360. I don't know if anyone's tried to emulate in this on PC. I haven't looked into it. But I did look into emulating Motorsport 4 on PC. And it turns out Motorsport 4 doesn't run on PC yet. Austin, thank you for the posture check. Yeah, so, um, I don't think I've, I don't know if I've decided a date yet or not. I think the 14th of August. Yo, Death Ray! Thank you for the prime sub. That actually means we can gift out a sub at the end of this stream. So we will be gifting a sub to the chat at the end of this stream. We've hit that gift sub goal. Thank you so much for that resub. Legend. <laughs> I haven't actually watched that um, the race today. So, I, I don't know what happened, but I'm really not too interested in uh, keeping on top of Formula 1. It's just not been piquing my interest enough. Yeah, it takes some time to get through this game, definitely. Um, I think most Sport 3, the races were much shorter until you got onto the World Championships at the end. Those were sub substantially longer. And I think it was the same story with Motorsport 4. Majority of the earlier stuff was, like, fairly short. Summary, Ferrari doing Ferrari things. Ah, nothing new there, then. <laughs> yeah, Ferrari's... Ferrari's doing some weird things, but I think they're doing it based off of the team a lot more. I think a lot of people are expecting Ferrari to support Leclerc more. And I think Ferrari is focusing too much on the team. I think Leclerc's the best shot of getting a driver's championship, but... You know. Currently playing Forza Motorsport 3. I'm on year 3 at the moment. Oh, fair enough. Uh, I think I've missed some messages in chat. Let me have a look. No, I haven't. We're all good. But yeah, Mo Motorsport 3. Um actually was my first Forza Motorsport and 
I did a substantial amount in that game. I think I got up to like level 40, something like that. But I never completed it. I think I did like 40% of the events. Nothing substantial. So it would be nice to finally, after all those years, to finish that game. Um, because that game sort of is what properly got me into racing games. It, it was the first racing game I had on my first games console that I ever had. That was like mine that I owned. Most other consoles were other people's consoles that I played on. So, you know, Motorsport 3 has a much closer relation to me personally. So, yeah, I think, I think Motorsport 2 is a little more challenging for me. Sorry, he went from medium to medium to hard to soft. That's so strange. I will take that. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. Uh, race number two. Ram, 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 ram. Not bad. The one that was on the background. Oh, yeah, on my um, slideshows. Um, yeah, I've, all of the uh, slideshow photos at the moment are taken in um, Gran, Turismo, uh, Gran Turismo 7. So they are quite cool. Um, but I do want to put in some of the WRC photos that I've taken. I think I'll do that tonight. I'll swap in some of my WRC content into that folder. Get some of that on there. Because the some of the WRC photos I've taken have actually been pretty cool from WRC 10. So, so yeah, we've reset that uh, free gift sub goal now. Hey, Kodo! Thank you for gifting a sub. To Epic as well. Hey, appreciate it, man. Reaching now for something to hold. Thank you very much for that, man. Appreciate it. Creed and Le Mans, like, tracking FH5. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate it. It's sort of a way... Um, basically, I added the gifting sub thing. Um, purely to give back to... Because there are quite a few people who can't gift subs on that. Because, I mean, it's not an expected thing. So I wanted to give back to those those people that can't sub. So if we get hit our goals, by all means, I'm very much happy to gift out some subs because it it helps with the channel, anyways. It's like a little thank you, thank you for supporting the channel. Here's my token of appreciation, you know. Do 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 do. <laughs> Cracking. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate that, uh, Kodo. But thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that's such a funny, such a funny one. You're gonna create a version where you can finish anytime you want. No AI to just test drive. That's fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Basically, there was a long. 
Um, a really long-running joke that's been going on for a good few years now. Where, um... Basically, someone was trying to get me to do something. I can't even remember what the thing was. But I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. And I literally screamed, I'd rather put my dick in a blender. <laughs> then do that. Like, to show how much I didn't want to do that thing. And that's sort of how that... How that joke has stuck around. <laughs> yeah. Um... I do like Events Lab. I've seen some pretty insane creations with Horizon 5 Events Lab, and it is mental. It's honestly spectacular to see how much effort people put in, and there's a lot of creativity there. The only problem I have with Events Lab is it is a lot more challenging to use than stuff like Playgrounds that Dirt 5 has. So whereas Playgrounds is a lot easier to make stuff, it's not as creative. Horizon 5, it's a lot more difficult to make stuff. But you can unlock so much more creativity, you know? So, it's definitely a weird one. Do do do. Do do do. They told them answer. <laughs> FH4 was definitely uh, weird the way that it did Events Lab and AI and stuff like that. Even though the AI, ooh, is probably more of a pain in the ass in Horizon 5 sometimes, but. I think Horizon 4 was good in the start, and then it was just like really half-assed and just added like random stuff I think the one thing I hate about video games is time sensitive stuff that is my biggest bugbear in video games anything that locks anything behind a time sensitive thing whether it be a mission or whatever like by all means add the content and make it accessible whenever but if something is time limited and forces you to do it in a certain time frame, I don't like that. And I don't like it enough that it actually does turn me off of a game. Like Horizon 4, they just added a lot of, like the season playlist, where you had to be on the game to earn that stuff. Like before they added the season playlist, which I think was three, six months into the game, I'm not 100% sure. Um, the game was enjoyable because there was no time-limited stuff. You know. Yeah, Hor Horizon 4 was especially glitchy as well, but it was a lot less glitchy than Horizon 5 has been. Um, for me. But, I mean... There's definitely some personal preferences between which game's your favourite. And it's especially true when you compare, like, Horizon 2 and Horizon 3. Because that's a fairly 50-50 split on who will prefer Horizon 2 over Horizon 3. Um, me, personally, I preferred Horizon 3 until I properly tried playing it again. And I sort of got pointed towards Horizon 2 when I started doing Horizon 2. I've just realised we're doing these races in the wrong order. I have just realized halfway through this race, I'm doing them in the wrong order. Ha <laughs> ha Oh well. We'll still have to go back and do the other two races again anyways, even though I've won them. Because uh, we need the footage for YouTube. So, because I can't just leave a half-assed YouTube video. I can't... The, the problem is, right, if I could have used just the stream archive to do it then I would have but I can't even use the stream archive to upload to YouTube so that's why it's ridiculous 
Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, personally, I prefer Horizon 2's atmosphere and event structure. How it structures events, because it is so much better. Uh, the road trips are good in Horizon 2, but Horizon 3 just had a slightly better map, slightly better car list. Um, they are so close, in my opinion, that it's tough to dec decide between them. Um, Horizon 3 had the PC version, which meant you could unlock the frame rate. That's another bonus for Horizon 3. It's, it's quite a difficult topic for me to be able to pick one um horizon one has a closer place in my heart because i enjoyed playing that when it came out um but yeah horizon one was way too short but again we're gonna we're gonna be going through all of these horizon games all of the motorsport games in this series so we're gonna be just enjoying forza three streams a week brilliant Hey, no worries, Austin. Uh, thank you so much for the follow, uh, and hopefully we can see you, see you around more. Um, I'll be streaming for a good few hours today, anyway. So hopefully we can see you towards the end of the stream. If not, no worries. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate the follow as well. Bum 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 bum. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Horizon Five was disappointing from the start. Because of the... There was a lot of problems with that game. And my game was unplayable for ages. And I was in a back and forth battle with Microsoft. Like... Why can't I play my game? And if you can't fix it, can I get my money back? And they said no to either. Like, they wouldn't let give me any fixes to fix my game. So that I could run it. And they wouldn't give me my money. So... Like, at that point, what do you do? Right, let's get our cars, and then we're going to have to redo e events, races two and three, um, to get that footage. So we got uh, a car, I believe. I don't even know what it is. Oh my god, that's an LMP1 car. We're finally unlocking our one vehicles. Not bad. Not bad, I like the look of that. Alright, here we go. So we got the Nürburgring to do. And honestly, I was not looking forward to doing this one again. But uh, here we are anyways. Fun times. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's worth having a look at getting it. Um, the only problem is the Platinum Trophy does require a multiplayer stance so you have to do a multiplayer mission i believe um like a co-op thing i think it's one of the expeditions um to actually get the platinum and i think it's similar with far cry 5 as well um far cry 5 to get the platinum requires you to actually do some of the online events which i'm gonna be totally honest far cry 5 online is an absolute mess it's horrendous Do, 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 do. Oh. Come on, we got this. Ah. Oh, I've binned it. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, I did not expect going around that corner that I'd understeer so much. Hey, no worries, Kodo. Sebring is actually quite an enjoyable track in this game. I'm going to be totally honest. Yeah, most, Motorsport 3 is the one that I've been looking forward to the most because it's got more of a 
sort of connection to me personally because of it being my childhood game. I never finished it. Like, yada, yada, yada. But, um, Motorsport 4 is probably going to be the most enjoyable out of this series to complete. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a strange one. I don't know how to feel about which one is better or what I'm more looking forward to. Maybe I'm looking forward to them both just as much. But, yeah. I, d I don't know if I can put a finger on what I'm enjoying more. Or looking forward to more. Meow. By the way, for anyone who has recently subscribed um, on Twitch, you may have to refresh your browser to stop viewing the ads. Because uh, if you do subscribe, it does get rid of the adverts. The only thing is sometimes that doesn't uh, update on Twitch's end straight away without refreshing the browser. So if you are still getting adverts, just uh, make sure to refresh your browser and they should go away. Oh, I like this shoe. Save me, it's called. Not bad. Um, so yeah, for anyone watching on YouTube, stay tuned to the um, community tab on the YouTube app. Um, because that's where I'm going to announce when we're restarting the streams on Twitch. Uh, and also in my Discord server as well, I'm going to be announcing when the first Motorsport 3 stream is going to be. Um, the final Motorsport 2 stream is next Wednesday. Which, by the time this video go goes out, it will be well past that. So, if you're watching this on YouTube now, you've missed it. Uh, if you're also watching this on YouTube now, then we've probably just started Motorsport 3. M maybe... We might be like three or four streams in already. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Meow. Not bad. I'm in the dirt. Come on. There we go. Result. Get back on track. I am going to have to check the footage. I'm going to check after this race. To just make sure that the footage is recording properly. Because if... If it's corrupted it again, I'm going to cry. But I did test before I started the stream and there wasn't any corrupted footage, so... Fingers crossed, it should be fine. I've got enough of a buffer anyways that if I have to... Uh, ow. 
have to sort of do a fresh reinstall of Windows on my PC, it should still run fine. And I won't miss an upload. Because again, with the, with the uh, Motorsport 2 stuff, it's all been daily uploads. Motorsport 1 was daily. I'm hoping Motorsport 3 will still be daily. Same with Motorsport 4. They should all be daily. And I think the only time I'm going to take a break from uploading a YouTube video at this point, with the backlog that I've got, um, and as long as we're keeping on top of it, um, I think the only break I'm going to take is once I finish this series. I might take two weeks off with no footage and then just start WRC. I feel alive. Now, mathematically speaking, according to my spreadsheet, um, the percentage of Motorsport 1 and 2, like, completed, is about 9% of the entire series. Apparently, Motorsport 3 is about 12%. Uh, and Motorsport 4 is about 15% of this entire playthrough. Maybe even a little more. So by the time we finish Motorsport 3 and 4, I believe our percentage is going to be about 35. Maybe even 40% completed of the entire series. And I would not be surprised if we were actually at that number. The one I'm not looking forward to is the uh, World Championships at the end. Because that's going to be like 30 videos in itself. Just the final 10 missions. In Motorsport 3. Guaranteed. They're going to be long. That's what she said. Because <laughs> uh, I, I basically aim to make sure no video is longer than an hour. So if a championship takes four hours to do, that's four videos. But then again, I don't normally stream for more than six hours, so. Not bad. Get back on track. Get back on track. Might have to grab a drink in a minute, actually. I have just noticed that it's actually got the track, like the corner names at the side of the track. I believe that's for the tourists more than anything. But those signs, I assume, do stay there as you go around the circuit. I think that's pretty cool. Like, the amount of detail that they actually put in Motorsport 2 for this track is surprisingly high. And I think I noticed some of the signs in Motorsport 1 as well. Which I don't think I've ever noticed them in Motorsport uh, in Gran Turismo. It might just be that I wasn't looking enough when I played Gran Turismo, but I don't remember seeing like signs that showed stuff. Mm-mm. My phone is vibrating. Yeah. Buzz, buzz. Buzzy bee. Buzz, buzz.
Just get the disc and put in a 360. It runs it um, through emulator. Um, I think the only thing you need um, for Motorsport 1 to run on a 360, I think it needs an internet connection to download patches for the first time you launch it. Other than that, doesn't really need internet after that point. Um, yeah. The only thing is, though, with the 360 is emulation, not native hardware. Whereas if you look at consoles like the PS2 uh, and the very first version of the PS3, those were native hardware. They had PS2 and PS1 chips in them. Um, so those would run the games as intended and how they looked on their original hardware. Um, whereas on Xbox's side, it's all software emulation. So there are a lot of quirks with the Motorsport 1 version specifically. Of Motorsport 1. Why did I say the Motorsport 1 version? Um, so yeah, Motorsport 1 obviously was for the original Xbox, so it meant it was emulated on the 360. And one of the main quirks it had was when any car went into the pit lane, uh, your frame rate would drop from 25, which was already fairly low for a racing game, all the way down to like 12. And your game would be running at half speed. So, it's um, it's not the ideal experience, to say the least. Um, I would recommend, if you're playing Motorsport 1, to play it on original hardware. I, unfortunately, don't have an original Xbox, so... I just compromised. Did it on the 360. It's, it's about 90% the experience that you get on... The original console, I think. So. It is just when anyone pits or certain tracks, specific corners will drop to like 20 frames. Which again, because of the way that the emulation is, because it's dropping frames, it slows down the clock of the game. So yeah. <laughs> Not bad. 31 grand. I will take that. All right, here we go. This is uh, the final race. I haven't even checked the footage to make sure it's working. So here's the hoping that it is working, because if it's not, I'm going to cry. You see a grown man cry live on stream. How funny would that be? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, come on. There we go. Twenty miles away in Scunthorpe. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, that might might be um, one to get delivered then. Unless you're wanting to make that 20-mile uh, trip. But, yeah. That site's good for uh, getting all the other motorsports as well. Um, and also, any other games. I mean, I bought... I'll admit, I bought the last of these two games... But uh, I finished off my WRC collection the other day. So I've got WRC 1 all the way through to 10. Plus Power Slide. Um, but the only thing is that I needed the three PC versions. Um, which were only available on disc for 1, 2, and 3. Um, 
4 to 6 were available on disc or on Steam. But uh, 1, 2, and 3 were only available on physical disc. Um... Ah, fair enough, yeah. Um, it is a good way for collecting. It's, it's a fairly cheaper alternative for collecting. Um, but a lot of the time, your condition will vary based on the products that you buy there. Sometimes they're in good condition, sometimes they're not. Uh, surprisingly, my WRC copies that I bought were in pretty much, like... They weren't mint condition. There was, like... A couple of imperfections but they were in a condition that they could be sold in a store brand new and no one would complain um, that's how good the condition was for them um, so I have WRC 1 2 & 3 but I bought out the last WRC 2 and WRC 3 copies there's no more on that store uh, and so far I don't think anyone sent them back or sent any like in for sale so yeah, I pretty much bought up the last two PC copies. Sorry. Yeah, WRC is quite a tough game to get into. It's fairly challenging, so... Um, because it's fairly simulation. Um, it's fairly simulation-based. So, it, it can be quite a tough game to get into. Um, I really enjoy it, but I'm probably getting into WRC a lot more than... An... I'm completely bored of Formula 1 now. Uh, the last two seasons have just been absolutely disgusting to watch. As a fan... I mean, I've been a fan of Formula 1 since, like, 2008. Um, and this is the first season where I've just properly been turned off by the sport like to the point I just don't want to watch it like I physically can't watch it it's just put a sour taste in my mouth especially the end of last uh, the 21 season honestly Michael Massey ruined that sport big time 2020 and 2021 were two seasons that were just so disgusting I didn't enjoy it um, so basically I've moved all, uh, I cancelled my F1 TV subscription, stopped watching Formula 1, uh, and I actually subscribed to WRC, and I am very much enjoying WRC a whole lot more. Oh, it's a lot more entertaining to watch rallying. Yo, Oni, what's up? Welcome. How are you today? Oh, shit. <laughs> I am very much still alive. I've been for, well, 20 plus years. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. A car. Fair enough. I took way too much speed at the entry of that corner. How have I spun that though? That's what I want to know. I love how everybody in my chat now has a red name, so it's extremely difficult to differentiate between people. Uh, I believe so, but I can't really tell unless I look through uh, past messages and, like, history logs and shit. So, at the moment, no, I can't tell. <laughs> Not really. 
Oh. Oh, crow. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Crows don't sound like caca in the UK. Mainly because they're annoying fucks that just like... You know. That's all they sound like in the UK. <laughs> yeah, bruh. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are. Honestly, I think crows are second to pigeons as the worst birds in the UK. Actually, no, seagulls. No. Third worst. Pigeons come second, seagulls are the worst. Seagulls are assholes. Pigeons are like sky rats, and crows just wake you up way too early in the morning. <laughs> oh no. But yeah. British birds are actual assholes a lot of the time. It's just how Britain is. Don't make me call you bish. <laughs> call me bish. <laughs> I love how Twitch just did not like that. You bish. Auto mod isn't normally that strict. I have no clue why it's being strict lately. It has phases where it's like, oh, I'm going to be strict one day, but extremely tolerant the next. Come on, get out of the way, you prick. Okay, so this Koenigsegg decided to slow down on the straight. Lovely. The cycle. Wow. Just break the cycle. Oh, so Sidemen have done a $100,000 versus $100 holiday in America. Oh, what do you need help with? Bum, 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 bum. Meet me, get out of the way. Meet me, get out of the way. Thank you very much. You are too kind, good sir. Starting to actually miss streaming. Get back into it then. It, in all honesty, it's good to take a break. But I found when I took, um, like I took a week break and I was missing it so much by like day four. I obviously pushed through for the break and I enjoyed the break. But while I was on break for even just a week, I was properly missing streaming. <laughs> yeah, I, I will agree. I am a seagull racist. I hate seagulls. But let's be honest, who doesn't? They are annoying birds. They are violent as well. Like, especially when you get down to the seaside, they will, like, attack you for your food. <laughs> like, they are violent. Well, that's quite a tricky one because clearly there's a lack of motivation because you're looking at the negative sides when it comes to streaming. I mean, 
there are people out there that do just stream for fun. They just stream their gameplay. If people come and watch, they come and watch. If they don't, they don't. I think you should focus on that. Focus on making sure that you can just have fun doing it. Um, oh, my car's reached maximum level. Let's go. Result. Woohoo! And uh, that's all the events done, even though they have been out of order. But they are done now. So let me just double check that the footage is fine. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.